Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbitals Rocket Shop where we continue working on the world's only crowdfunded crewed space rocket Spica. Today we will take a look at what happened in the workshop on Saturday, November 16th. We're a couple of weeks behind on these updates since I was moving apartments, so bear with me while we catch up. On this day we were working on a few smaller projects, for example Bianca here was cutting some iron profiles for a storage rack to hold various bits and pieces of our stream equipment, which she later started welding after some grinding and alignment. Over at our second welding table, we had me and Greta Mass processing some ribs for the Spica intertank section, which will give the connecting flanges some rigidness once everything is welded in place. I've heard rumors we might be getting a belt sander donated to the workshop in the near future, which could also potentially speed up a lot of the processing for Spica production. And speaking of speeding things up, John and Jakob mounted the welding torch bracket onto our nearly finished long seam welder and made a few test runs with the welding torch attached to the linear guide rail. It looks like we are nearly ready for the first welding test and calibration after which the majority of Spica's airframe production will be semi-automated and in-house. We also cut a few parts on our CNC plasma cutter which I have forgotten what they were meant for, so don't quote me on it, but it could be something to do with our swell injector shoulder retort which Thomas was working on. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's an inert gas heat chamber that we will use to solder all of our individual swirl elements together with the injector housing for the upcoming engine injector tests. Now, do you remember our BPM5 engine gimbal that Yop made during his bachelor internship? If not, click on the video link in the top right corner to see it work, and yes, I said bachelor. Anyway, we would like to wipe some dust off of it, so Thomas and Jens took the liberty, with Yop's permission, to make it interactive for our visitors and outreach events. By connecting a manual joystick and a small position indication display to manually control it on a show stand. It's going to be awesome. In other news, is fixing a lathe on your bucket list? It sure was on Adrian's and he together with Uf and Mike were able to cross it off now. As you might remember, we had a tooth break on one of the gears, which we managed to re-weld and grind down to put it all back together. Before we go, I would like to see if you can guess what you are seeing in this teaser clip. I'll give you a hint by saying it is one of the development projects we have in the works for Spica, but comment your best guess on what that project or part is. We'll reveal the right answer and correct guesses in the next Inside the Rocket Shop video, which will go over the events that took place last weekend, as the weekend before we didn't do too much apart from presentations. We often get questions if we ever cooperate with other space organizations, and the second to last weekend of November was an example of that. That weekend we had three representatives from Ariana Works with decades of experience in the view European space business visiting our workshop to learn about how we operate and share both theirs and ours future goals. Ariana Works is an innovation acceleration platform launched by Ariana Group and PNES in 2019 dedicated to the preparation of European future reusable launchers with commitment to reducing costs and accelerating development. Their main project to date is a reusable demonstrator named Themis which you can see here. It was great seeing how innovation in airspace and fast and inexpensive access to space is quickly becoming Europe's priority. It was a pleasure having our guests and we hope to see them in the near future. But that is all for now. If you don't want to miss our rocket updates, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to know when our next video is up. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time when we are one step closer to space. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.